WLAF's presentation of Cougar Baseball is on the air. Now to the field and the voice of the Cougars, former Cougar Jake Monday. Beautiful Brown Archer Field, blue skies, green grass, and another baseball team down in the first base dugout. This is Campbell County Baseball versus the Knox Central Bobcats, bringing you Cougar Baseball today from this cold, windy downfield level is your host, Jake Mundy, my partner, Mike Miller, as always. And Mike, we were just talking about Central. They always have a good baseball team, don't they? They always, ever since I can remember. Back in the even the eighties when they had Todd Helton, Bubba Trammell. They were just excellent back then. I mean superior. They won the state one year with those guys. And of course Todd Helton went on with the Colorado Rockies and retired that with the Colorado Hall Rockies. Hall of Famer now. Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. Hall of now. Famer. Yeah. And a Knoxville resident. He's here quite often. And uh Bud Bales was a coach back then, and he coached for years at Central. Coached for a long time. Central was playing back then at Fountain City Park, and uh, which now they're at Tommy Shumpert Field. I believe yes, that's what it is. They isn't are. It? As uh, they again are Campbell County's uh, visiting team today. Knox Central versus Campbell County. We'll have lineups. And first pitch following here real shortly. And again, you are listening to Cougar Baseball on 1450 WLAF. No internet at your home? No television? Then it's time to call American Cable of La Follette. American Cable of La Follette will put you in touch with the world from your corner of the world. They also offer battery-operated smart home products. At American Cable of La Follette, they offer discounts for veterans, first responders, and teachers. That's American Cable of La Follette, located in Woodson's Mall. 423-871-0889. American Cable of La Follette. My name is Caitlin Monday. I'm Janie Harder, and I'm at Where My Heart Leads Thrifty Boutique. We strive to be a thrifty boutique. We try to keep name brand items. We like for everything to be clean. Shirts, pants, kids' clothes, dresses, home decor, purses, jewelry, and it does change constantly. So one week we might have one thing and the next week it's totally different. We are located at 247 East Central Avenue in downtown La Follette. We are right at the corner of Central and Indiana. Campbell has it knocked away, lays it up, hook! Run, don't walk to La Follette Nutrition where we fuel the Cougars. La Follette Nutrition, located across from First Baptist Church in La Follette, has all you need to start your day. From protein shakes to loaded teas, let La Follette Nutrition make a drink just for you. Go by and see Macy and Anna today. Hi, I'm Macy Wilcox from La Follette Nutrition. Go Cougars! America's best pizza is just right here in Campbell County. People from all over the country travel to Campbell County for Charlie's Pizza. Maybe it's the handmade crust. Maybe it's the fresh ingredients. Or maybe it's just the friendly service and good times. Come see for yourself and find out what makes Charlie's Pizza the best around. This is Joe Evans from Charlie's Pizza. We've been open since 1976, and uh, we have the best pizza in town, so come down and see us. We now return to your coverage of Campbell High Basketball on WLEF. Batting fifth, number one, Samuel Myers. Batting sixth, number 17, Kaylin Chesney. Batting seventh, number four, Abram Taylor. Batting eight, number 15, Owen Porter. And batting ninth, number 11, Dylan Bowser. For your home team, batting first, number four, Peyton Douglas. Batting second, number one, Cooper McQuilly. Number third, batting third, number 13, 
Caden Idles. Batting fourth, number 19, Rylan Rice. Batting fifth, number 12, Eli Lawson. Batting sixth, number two, Zach Ross. Batting seventh, number 21, Jake Lawson. Batting eighth, number 15, Dylan Ford. And batting ninth, number seven, Tyrus McKelly. As we welcome you back to the beautiful Brown Archer Field, lineups have been exchanged and a new PA announcer still trying to work out the kinks there. I got a text or got told that they had a text. They were looking for one throughout the parents. And so I think they're trying to fill that void. You know, everything kind of thrown together up here. New team, new coach. We didn't but, have that void back when we when you was playing. No, we didn't. <laughs> I get three guesses and the first two don't count. First two don't count. <laughs> Thank, we, thank we, you, Mike. We, <laughs> we had music, <laughs> walk-up music, and the whole nine yards. As again, Campbell County facing the Knox Central Bobcats today. And uh, the PA announcer reading the lineups. I'll read through them real quick as Campbell County will take the field here real quick. For Knox Central, leading off the DH, number two, Nick Rydan. Rydorn, Rydan. Batting second, number 19, shortstop, Blake Mills. Andrew Hill, number 12, he's the third baseman. Batting fourth is Cole Wessel. He's the pitcher, number 24. Batting fifth, number one, Samuel Myers. He's playing second. Batting sixth, number 17, Kalen Chesney. Playing center field. Playing right, number four, Abram Taylor. Batting eighth, Owen Porter. He's the first baseman wearing number 15. And then batting ninth is Dylan Bowser. He'll be doing the catching and wearing number 11, Chris Peters, number 23 out and left. So, again, for Central, it'll be Rydorn, Mills, Hill, Wessel, Myers, Chesney, Taylor, Porter, and Bowser as Peters will be playing the field in the DH spot. Campbell County around the horn will have in their lineup – Peyton Douglas leading off. He's number four. He'll be playing center field. Batting second is Cooper McQuitty. He is playing short, wearing number one. Batting third is number 13, Caden Idles. He's playing third base. Doing the pitching tonight for the Cougars is number 19, Rylan Rice. He's also batting cleanup. Batting fifth, his other partner, catcher Eli Lawson, number 12. Batting sixth, wearing the number two, is the second baseman, Zach Ross. Batting seventh is Jake Lawson, number 24. He would be playing first base. Dylan Ford's out and right, wearing number 15. And then rounding off the lineup is Tyrus McCulley, number seven, playing seven in left field. So, again, for the Cougars is Douglas, McQuitty, Idles, Rice, Lawson, Ross, 
and then Lawson, Ford, and McCulley as play is just underway. First pitch from Rylan Rice to Nick Rodorn is a called strike. 0 and 1 puts bat on the ball here and fouls it away quickly. 0 and 2. As we welcome you again to the sunny Brown Archer Field. From a new view, we move from the press box to field level. We're back in our old bird's eye view down here, down third baseline. That one's high, one and two. That was high, very high. Central wearing the traditional traveling grays, gray tops, gray pants, bobcats across the chest. Cougars wearing their orange and white with CCHS and white across the top. And that one's just a little bit low, two and two. And a new cap donning every cougar color. Blue on the back, orange bill, and white on the front. 2-2 two -two pitch outside. Got to run it full. Don't lose him. Rylan saw him pitch earlier in the year in the doubleheader against Carter. As a first batter he faces is a walk, so leadoff walk. Runner on first for back, Central. Number 19, Blake Mills. As now Mills, the two-hole will get a chance. Note on Rylan, he threw up here. And he didn't throw bad. I mean, there, there were some errors behind him, you know, when the ball gets past the mound, but he just had a high pitch count too early. He was up, I think, in the 60s Ooh, by the third. So it, it's it, not good at all. If he can keep the pitch count down, pick Throw off attempt, and if he catch it, he's out. That ball went in and out of the glove from Jake Lawson and down the line, but not far enough for the runner to advance. Had him leaning, he was stealing all the way. I don't know that I wouldn't throw over there Pitch again. Out. Yeah. So. Come on, Blake. Go, Jake. Got to mix things up. As Ryland now comes set, looks He's the going. runner. He's going. Square to bunt, pulls it back. Called strike. Throw down to second, not nearly in time, and the runner will advance. So after a near miss, we get a strike call at the plate, and the runner advances on a stolen base. So now in scoring position early in the first with nobody out. Cougars wearing the sleeves under their uniforms today. Wind is oh so ever blowing up here. As that one's high, one and one. Cold wind. Chilly with some bite, and I think this is the high today. So yeah, this, this game will get a little chilly as it goes on. Especially if it gets into the dark hours. The lighter innings, yes. One ball and one strike. High leg kick. Squares the bunt, and that one's low. Runner's going to third, and nobody's covering. That ball goes out the left field, and he'll tag third and trot all the way home, one to nothing central. Had the third baseman charging in, and nobody covered the bag. He squared the bunt. Third baseman came in to get the bunt, and he pulled it back, but then there was nobody at third. No mechanics. The throw went where it was supposed to. There was just nobody there to catch it. Two and one high, three and one. If you have to call time and discuss what you're going to do, that's what you need to do. 3-1 inside ball. Back-to-back -back walks to start off the game on Rice's card. Up to bat, number 12, Andrew Hill. Well, this is a big boy. Yes. He looks like he's about 6'2", 6'3". Andrew Hill, third baseman. Threw it on a line when they were warming up. I know. I watched that. Throwing bullets, 180 feet. That one's low, and it gets by the catcher. Runner is going to advance. So one run is already across in the inning. Back-to-back -back walks issued by Rice. And now a 1-0 count at the plate to the three-hole hitter, Hill. Ball that two. one misses two. You know, runner at second advancing on the pass ball. Short lead out there. Ooh. And this one plunked him right in the middle of the back. First yeah. hit batsman of the day. I had a thud to it, didn't it? Yeah, it did. As now Coach Hart's going to take a stroll out to the mound to check on his young pitcher. <coughs> that one looked like a hitty bat of – about in the kidneys area. Go check on him. 
you know, and, and like I said, his pitch count got high up the last time I saw him pitch. He he, he threw the ball well, and they, there was contact off his pitches. It just was hard finding outs. But, right. I, I mean, so far his line is walk, walk, and hit batsmen. So, bear down here and let them get something in play and let your defense work. They've only put the bat on the ball one time, and it's a foul. Foul ball. Up to bat, number 24, Cole Wessel. This is Central's pitcher digging in now in the cleanup spot. Wessel, he'll dig in with runners at first and second. He squares the bunt already. Third baseman coming in, runners off second base. Throw it back to second, tag, got him. He's out. Good That's play. A good move. Good play. Batter squared to bunt, brought in the third baseman. As soon as he came in, the runner broke off to third, and Ryland just, pretty as you please, stepped off, turned around, and threw him out. So one gone inside. 1-0 didn't square that time, so they stole second in the beginning off a squared bunt. I wouldn't imagine he would be hitting here. Yes, that ball is in play out the third, and it's through the glove out the left field. Station to station, just advancing 90 feet. That's a single. Okay, that's it. I see it in the glove now. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Up to bat, number one, Samuel Myers. He should have got that ball because it had a hop to it. It had a hop, and it had that hot corner hop to it. Uh -huh. Playable, but hot. Sets up the same scenario. First and second, one gone now. As now Myers will hit the five hole. Here's the pitch, this one's put into play, and it's going to be down into left field right in front of Tyrus McCulley. He'll throw it in to the infield again, just 90 feet base hit. Got the bases loaded, one down. Up to bat number 17, Kalen Chesney. That's two hits in the inning, two walks. And now Chesney will hit. from the left side. And it's a strike. Big benefit calling the game down here is balls and strikes. Yes. You can see them a lot better. Strike on the outside part with the first pitch. Runners at first, second, and third. One gone in the top of the first. Squares the bunt. He stayed around. Didn't pull it back in time. Quickly 0-2. Get him here, Rollin. That wasn't a squeeze play because the runner didn't go. He just come down the line just a little ways from third base. Whoa. Rip. Down first base line. Foul. Turned on it. I believe I'd be shifting a little bit. Yes, he was way early. Yes. Yeah, bases are loaded. And an 0-2 pitch. Foul back. He's got a good cut. Fouled two off and watched two. I'd like to add another out here yeah. without the runners moving. 0-2 oh, pitch. This one's high. Who wants it? And out of play over our heads. Three foul balls. I don't know that I wouldn't groove one outside of the strike zone here. As quickly as he's turning, put one in the right-hand batter's box. A little high. I think it looked a little believable. One ball and two strikes. Again, bases are loaded. One run already across. One to nothing central. And you can tell he's a disciplined hitter. Very yes. disciplined. This one's high in the air. Very playable. Back behind third. Shifting out to left field. Third baseman going back, going oh. back. And it dropped right inside the line. One run comes across. Safe. You had he the third baseman, the left fielder, and the shortstop going at it, and it dropped right between them. Up to bat, number four, Abram Taylor. It's another run across and another hit as everybody else moves up 90 feet. So bases are still loaded for Abram Taylor. One out. 
seven hole hitter. Hi. One ball and again one out. Another run scoring after it fell into that. It's really like the Bermuda Triangle area where <laughs> no three, man's three people converge on there. They call a balk. They called a balk. Mm. Umpire's going to explain to him what he done wrong. So everybody will advance. Wessel comes across to score on a balk. I think what he was explaining to him that he may have went to his face when he comes set. I don't know. Or he may not come set. Might have tried to quick pitch. No protest from anybody, so. Anyway, we'll play again. Three to nothing now, Central. As that ball is inside. Again to Taylor, 2-0. and oh. Runners at second and third now after the balk. That means the throw's got to go across. Rylan comes set and delivers. This one's fouled back. Two balls and a strike. And comes set and delivers a 2-1 outside 3-1. Seven hole hitter about to flip the lineup in the first inning. It's never good. Never. 3-1, oh, big swing and a miss. Pitch. That'll run it full. Three balls and two strikes. One gone, runners at second and third. And the pitch, lazy swing, foul down the first baseline. Nice slice of pizza off the tee box. <laughs> Keeps the count the same in a 3-2 pitch. Strike three. Grooved one down, got him looking. Out number two via the strikeout. Rylan's Up first strikeout of the day. 15, Owen Porter. Two away. Eight hole hitter Porter up. Central's first baseman. Ooh. He hits the first pitch out over the short's head. One run is across. Another runs across. Two RBI single for Porter. He lined that one right yeah, over did. the shortstop's right head. The I mean, it was blistered. Yes, blisters is correct. Up to bat, number 11, Dylan Bowser. So I've got five runs. Yep, five runs for Central here in the first on four hits. As now the nine good. hole will reach. He'll run on the first one. And close play at second. Yeah. Called him safe. Little lower throw I think might get him. Pitch was a ball, 1-0, runner stole on the first pitch. So now he's out at second with two gone. Good Pretty pitch. pitch. We're in the count, 1-1 one one to Central's nine-hole hitter, Bowser, their catcher. Oh. Just inside. 2-1. 2 one. Bases clearing single from the eight hole hitter brings our score five to nothing central in the first. This one fouled at the plate back at the broadcast booth and without the net, Mike, you can make a play. <laughs> would have. Like I did over at the Smokies game one time, ding dong me, reach up to grab the ball, bare handed. And I caught it. it. Yeah. I caught it, yeah. 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 Did you feel and your I, hand later? You, no. <laughs> High in the air, playable, out the left field. Shortstop going back, and Cooper yeah. makes the catch. So that will end the first inning for Ryland Rice. He will face all nine Bobcats. Gives up five runs on four hits and only one error out of all of that, two counting the pass ball. So we've played one half of the first. It'll be the Cougars due up in the bottom half of the first when we return, and you are listening to Cougar Baseball on 1450 WLAF. 
Citizens Bank is a locally owned and operated bank serving communities in East Tennessee. The bank was established in 1934 with three guiding principles at its foundation. Assurance of safety to depositors, a high standard of service to customers, and a genuine desire to serve the community. These principles are the core factor in the success that has lasted over 85 years and grown Citizens Bank to the renowned financial institution it is today. To learn more about Citizens Bank, visit CitizensBank24.com. Quality and Clayton go hand in hand. That's Quality Constructed Homes from Clayton Homes. The staff at Clayton Homes, located right here at home in Campbell County at Jacksboro, is ready to help you through all the steps of home ownership, from selecting the home that's just right for you to putting the keys in your hand. Since 1956, Clayton Homes has been making dreams come true. See the home folks about your new dream home from Clayton Homes, 110 North Street near Jacksboro Middle School. Call or just come on by. Whether you're a contractor or you're just handling a project around the house or farm, CNO Metal Sales has the best prices in the tri-state. Metal roofing custom cuts as well as delivery are available from CNO Metal. Be sure and ask us about our lifetime warranty on metal. Matt Klein can handle your big or small jobs from one piece of metal to a hundred. Select from 22 colors. CNO Metal Sales is right behind O'Reilly's Auto Parts in Middlesboro. Just take a left at the first stoplight and CNL is on the right. See or call Matt at 606-248-5 this is a Matthew Klein, former Cougar number 42. Come see me at CNL Metal. As we welcome you back atop the breezy, chilly hill, Brown Archer Field, Campbell County against Central. Rylan Rice, after two leadoff walks, and then four, faces Peyton nine Douglas. Bobcats, five come across to score. So our score sits now after playing one half inning, five to nothing in favor of Knox Central. But now Campbell County gets a turn to swing the sticks. And the first pitch for them is a called strike to Peyton Douglas. He's got a little bit of heat, this central pitcher. Throws hard. <laughs> Way out Late, in front. So yeah. 0 and 2. Douglas, McQuitty, and Idols do up for the Cougars. The 0 2, swing and a miss. Catcher dropped it. So he'll have to throw down to complete that strikeout. One down. Three pitches and Up we got bat, one out. Number one, Cooper McQuilly. Because now it's Cooper McQuitty's turn. First pitch outside. He's popping at mid. Yeah, he is. Lefty. Lefty against lefty. Oh, that's right. beautiful. Keep set on those. You got a swing. One ball and one strike, one out in the Cougar half of the first. See if they can get something going here. One, one high. Two and one. Cold, breezy day like today, and he's pumping what he's throwing. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, that's why I was sitting thinking the catcher. Another strike. Rolled his hands over. If he's wearing a batting glove underneath his mitt. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he is. I would be two. Probably two. Two two. Low three two. Three balls and two strikes. Low. Ball four. He works fast, too. Yes, very fast. Up to bat. So after Number a leadoff strikeout, eight, eight, and now oh. the Cougars get their first walk of the day. First base runner. As now Caden Idols, Cougar third baseman, will dig in. Short lead for Cooper at first. This one's fouled back at the plate. No balls, one strike. Mm. Strike. Pretty pitch. So I'll get the first one, and then I want to say he didn't, so I'll get the one he probably should have. Should have, yeah. 
Pitcher comes set and looks the runner at first and an 0-2, swing and a miss, strike three. It looked like a breaking ball right there. Two gone here in the Cougar half of the first as now Up Cougar pitcher Rylan Rice will hit. He has a chance to advance and score Cooper McQuitty at first. First pitch is down at his feet low. So one ball and no strike to count. Two gone, the bottom half of the first. Wessel looking, pick off, safe. Got a good move, the first. That's when the dugout hollers the, not even, close. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 1-0, oh, no. high in the air, and says it's in play, heading over towards third base. Down. Foul ball. Didn't know if it was going to make the net or not. From our view, that's that's the downside. You, you call it from the press box up there, you can't see right field. You call it from down here, you can't see down far left field. So uh, we see the pitcher heading towards us, the catcher heading towards us, and then out of nowhere, the third baseman comes barreling in and almost made the catch. Ball dropped right in front of him. So one and one now. High strike. Cooper's going off this pitch, and they threw him out at second. Good throw. Got him. Good throw ends the inning. Third out made at second base after a strike called at the plate. So the Cougars go down. One, two, three, as we have played one. We'll head to the top of the second, and the score is Knox Central 5, Campbell County 0. At Grace Rehab, we have one goal in mind, to improve your quality of life. We provide physical, occupational, and speech therapy for all ages. Grace's therapy and treatment plans are individualized for each patient. Well, my doctor didn't think I would be to this point at this time, and I wouldn't have been had it not been for the rehab center here at Grace. Oh, I like all the people that's here and they, they've been real nice and I've had a ton of fun with them. Grace Rehab, we want to help you feel your best. Welcome to Premier Weight Management Anesthetics. My name is Renee Leach and I'm honored you've chosen us to walk with you through your weight loss journey to the new you. Thanks Renee, Premier Weight Management Anesthetics offers more than one option to help you achieve your weight loss goals. Premier Weight Management Anesthetics offers nutritional counseling, the new and popular weight loss injections, and Fennerman. In addition to this, we offer B12 and Mega Burn injections to jumpstart your metabolism. Premier Weight Management Anesthetics offers Botox and fillers. Premier Weight Management Anesthetics has seven locations to serve you. Clinton, Harrogate, Jellicoe, Alcoa Miracle, La Follette, Oliver Springs, and Turkey Creek. Now it's time to put your plan into action here at Premier Weight Management Anesthetics. Here's to the grown-ups. Your car is now your office. Stage, nursery, Shh, sorry. Erie Insurance offers products that lots of other companies don't. That's a big deal, and it's a good deal too. And with Erie, you get your own independent agent, not a giant corporate call center or some online robot. You meet with a real person like this. Give us a call, 562-2112. Check us out on the web, eehill.com, or just stop by and see us at 701 West Central Avenue, La Follette. Erie Insurance. As we welcome you back, top of the second action up on top of the breezy, chilly, windy hill. Knox Central versus Campbell County. And Beautiful a pitch. first pitch from Rylan Rice in the second is a called strike to Nick Rydorn. Flipped the lineup card. All nine Bobcats bat in the first. They scored five. And second pitch is a called strike. A little bit of a favorite one there across the letters. Rylan just passed pitch number 40. Wow. Here's 41. Oh, strikeout. Strike out. three. Three pitches. There we go. Yeah. Set him down Up early the there. Number three pitches, and we get an out Mills. in the top of the second. So one gone now for Mills, the two-hole hitter. He also walked to Rylands to lead off walks to start his book on the day, first pitch. 
is outside 1-0. and I mean, he went walk, walk, hit batsman. It's a slow roller down to third, pats the glove twice, throws across, safe by about a half a step. He double pumped yeah. from third base, and if he throwed first time, he may have got him. Up he was fast, 12, though. Yes. Hill. Very fast. As now Hill will hit. Didn't get a chance the last time. He saw two pitches and then got hit right in the middle of the back. So a runner at first, one gone, top of the second. Nobody going here, hitting all the way and fouled at the plate. Rolling one. Curious to see how much they want to run the bases today. Ran a lot in the first. Found one of their three outs on in the field. He's going. Going on this one high, safe. Low. One and one. I had to fix the scorecard. I, didn't, I, I guess I missed something in the last inning, and I was trying to catch it up. 2-1, two, strike. 2-2. Two, two. Need to throw up another K right here. Yes, runner on second. And one gone. Ooh. This ball is barreled out the left field, and it's – Oh, by it by One run scored oh, already. Fits. Tag second, heading for third. The ball's just now getting corralled at the wall. He'll get the breaks. RBI triple for Hill. Up to bat number 24, Cole Wessel. As the first run is across in the second, six to nothing central. Pitcher Cole Wessel now in first pitch called strike. Singled his last time up and scored a run. He scored off the balk. No one in the dirt by the catcher. Coming. Runner's coming. Play He's at the in. plate, no throw. So a really hard 270 feet and a pretty easy 90 feet. Seven to nothing, Knox Central. And a 1 1 count to their pitcher, Wessel. One ball and one strike. This ball is rifled out the left in McCulley. Nico jumps up, makes a one handed catch. Good play. Yeah, it was. He came in about two or three steps, went back a half a step, up jumped to bat, and caught it. One, Samuel Myers. Good play out there in left. I tell you what, the folks could probably hear the. When yeah, he hit it. That's, that's a ping. A that's ping. a college yeah. ping. As now Myers will hit. Also singled his last time. First pitch was high ball. 1-0. and oh. That is solid contact. Solid on contact. On the barrel on the big barrel. part of the bat. Yeah. <laughs> Strike. Were you supposed to hit it? Yes. Boy, it sounds good, too. It does. <laughs> one ball and one strike the count. Two gone. Just a bit outside. Two and one. And two one. This one beat at the plate and fouled down the third baseline. Two and two. A count. Two gone in the bottom of the second. Two runs have already crossed. Seven to nothing central. Is now Ryland delivers. This one, lazy pop fly out to right. Ford comes in, one-handed grab, and that will end the inning and retire the side. So Central is able to plate two across to advance their lead by two off of a few hits, two runs, no errors as Campbell. Why is this man so happy? He's Knox Central seven, Campbell County zero. Why is this man so happy? 
He's got Advantage Checking from Community Trust Bank. CTB's got him covered with credit monitoring and identity theft protection, cellular phone replacement and repair, roadside assistance service, and travel and leisure discounts. And with his Advantage Plus interest checking, he'll never pay a CTB ATM fee no matter where he uses it. So be happy. Get Advantage Checking from Community Trust Bank. We've changed our name, but the quality is the same. We've been called Valley Roofing for decades, and now Valley Roofing has merged with Exterior Home Solutions. When you think Valley Roofing, remember our new name, Exterior Home Solutions. We still specialize in quality metal roofing and quality shingles, all at reasonable prices. Exterior Home Solutions is local owned and operated, insured and experienced. Find us on the four lane beside David Bell's Buick GMC. Call us at 423-566-6561. It goes Get and Go West is open seven days a week with BP and great food. Here's just a sample. Breakfast, Big O's famous tenderloin biscuit, and more. Big O's West features homemade lemonade and orange tea, delicious hot dogs, the best hamburger around, fresh hamburger daily at Big O's West, plus soft serve ice cream. Big O's Get and Go West is on the big four-lane highway at Dossett Lane Stoplight under the big BP sign. Keep in mind, when you use your BP card, you save 15 cents a gallon every time on BP and Amico Gasoline. BP card applications are available now at Big O's West and East and at West End Amico. You're on a kid. As we welcome you back, bottom of the second, Knox Central 7, Campbell County 0, as uh, they will have 4 5 6 due up Rice, Eli Lawson, and then Zach Ross. Ryland getting a second AB here because the last out was made in the field. Cooper McQuitty trying to steal second. Let's go, Rob. So new life for him at the plate. And he finds himself one ball and one strike. This ball's put into play out the left. Going back, going back, going back, and made a good play out there. Yeah. That ball traveled almost yeah. all the way to the wall. Yeah. He Up said the bat, that number 12, Eli Lawson. Let's go, Eli. That's the hardest hit I've seen this year so far. Longest. Long out there. Long out, yeah. Long out. Boy, Ryland has put good bat on the ball, though. He had some good hits when we were up here Thursday for our last broadcast. As now Eli Lawson, the Cougar catcher, get his chance. He will swing and miss at the first pitch. No balls and a strike. So one gone in the Cougar half of the second. They trail by seven on this sunny but chilly day. As that ball is low, I would like to add, I mean, we're going to have a broadcast Friday due to weather. But if you set your alarm... Tomorrow, you can watch the Dodgers and the Padres play from South Korea at 6 a.m. <laughs> and a 1 2 to Eli. That ball skipped about 58 feet, 2 and 2. Part of the MLB World Tour. They've already played in the Dominican. Last year, they played in Mexico and then London. And to start off the 2024 season, two West powerhouses are going to play across the world. That is a big swing and a miss. Down goes Eli for the Cougars' second okay, out, as now Zach two, Ross Zach will Ross. hit. Did you watch any of the Tennessee Alabama? I did not. This Baseball. Is, yeah. All I see about college baseball is how many ejections are across the country for bat flipping. As that ball's low to Zach, one on one. I don't know. So many people thrown out. So many people ejected for celebrating, you know, a home run. Alabama won the series two to one. Huh? Big swing and a miss, one and two. Tennessee's top five in the country. They were ranked in? number five. Yeah. Alabama, I think, was 14th. Four, yeah. Ooh, Big honestly. swing and a miss. That will retire the side for Campbell County as they go down with a long, long out from Ryland Rice and then back-to-back -back strikeouts in the bottom of the second. We head to the third, and it's Knox Central 7. Campbell County Zero. You, again, you are listening to Cougar Baseball on 1450 WLAF. The staff at LUB, LaFollette Utilities Board, is there for you. One, two, three, 
you may be needing new service at your future home. LUB crews bring the experience, know-how, and equipment to put you in service. And when troubles arise, LUB crews are there, no matter the hour or the day, to restore your service. Connect to LUB.org or call 423-562-3316 for assistance on new service, existing service, or to report an outage. Count on LUB to be there. The Nova Medical Group is making it easier to see a primary care provider in the La Follette area quickly. Schedule an appointment online anytime at tonovalafollettepcp.com. I'm Tracy Labertini with Alco Builders and Realty. Take a look at what we have for you today. Thanks, Tracy. Here's a two-story traditional log cabin home located at 212 Barlow Road in Clinton and it sits just on over two acres of land in a country setting. The home has three bedrooms and two full bathrooms. It features cathedral ceilings, hardwood floors, a wood-burning fireplace, an eat-in kitchen, a master on the main level, a walk-in shower, a workshop, and extra storage. The exterior features of the home include a covered wraparound porch, a detached workshop, and RV parking nestled in a secluded yard for plenty of privacy. This home is currently priced at $499.9. If you're looking to buy or to sell, my name's Tracy Lobertini, 423-562-0638. Just give me a call. We now return to your coverage of Campbell High Basketball on WLDF. As we return top of the third, Knox Central 7, Campbell County 0. Up to bat, number 17, Kalen Chesney. Central will have 6, 7, 8 due up. Chesney, Taylor, and Porter. This part of the lineup for Rice, the only time he was in here in the first, it went single, strikeout, single. And the single from Porter, due up third, was a two RBI single. Longest hit of the day, I think, for the Bobcats. Fouled at the plate. Chesney 0-1. Battled his last time up. Quickly two strikes and then Found a way on. Wow. Uh, one high. One and one. Nobody gone. And again, the score central is seven. Campbell County is zero. Fouled at the plate, 0 and 2. Central's batted around once, about to bat around twice if somebody can reach. This inning, Campbell County has just now made it to the eight hole, eight seven hole. hole. Seven, oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of the out in the field. Should be the eight hole. This ball's put into play down first. Lawson puts the glove down, walks it over. There's one out. Good stop. Yes. Up to bat, number four, Abram Taylor. One up, one down, that's always good to hear. As now Abram Taylor will hit Struck out on numerous pitches the last time. He saw a deep count and fouled quite a few pitches off. Got him looking. Low. One and oh. Rylan just passed the 60 pitch count. High strike. One He's one. actually. This last couple of innings, he's uh, settled down somewhat and he's throwing more strikes. Well, I across. jinxed him then. Yeah. Throwed it in the dirt. It's funny how that works, ain't it? You get out there on the mound and you face the whole lineup, give up five runs. For you walk the first two hitters you see, and then you come out and you have a pretty good second. And a strike. And so far, a good third. Yeah. You know? Kind of hilarious that you know it takes you thirty something pitches to get dialed in, don't it? My arm would be falling off. Two two put into play out the second, gloved, tossed out. Number two, That's four three. Play. That was a pretty play. Yeah. You got over there to it, gloved it and tossed it. To bat, Did knock the first baseman down with it. Just tossed it to him. Had plenty of time. Porter now the hitter. So two ground outs to the right side. 
as now it is the eight hole hitter's turn. The first pitch is high, one to no. Campbell County trying to bear down and keep them under the 10 run roll. Is that ball slow? For y'all that don't know, Two and oh. the, the coaches always, I've never seen them not do it. In the pregame, they always get together, discuss with the umpire. They have it at what's called a 10 rule, 10 run after five innings if uh, other one team is ahead. Oh. And the home team is batted through five. Yeah, and, mercy, mercy rule. Yeah, it's called a mercy rule, slaughter rule, whatever. It's ten after five. They usually call it. Well, they will. They'll call the game. Because if it didn't, some, in some instances, it would be just way above, you know, just ungoshly runs. Three balls and two strikes the count. Now at the plate to Porter, and he'll walk him. Went all 3-0 and then battled back 3-2 and then walked him. So they will up bat the around. Back, number 11, Dylan Bowser. Because that will bring up the nine-hole hitter. Bowser popped out to short his only time up. We only say that just because if you're the team that's getting beat and you know that the mercy rule is in a play before five, you want to try to keep them under 10 under if you 10, can. Yeah, you know. If you can. To play on. To and seven. for every run you score, that's another one that they have to score on you. That ball is rifled down left field line, fair, and it's still going. Runners tag second. He'll get the green line and stop. Throw got in. Good job out there to get to that ball. It yeah. was right down the line, heading to the corner, out to the barn at the 320 mark. So that's a double from the nine hole. Advances Porter to third, first and third. Has Over now flipped the lineup card to Ryder. Right Sorry, this is Chris Peters killing the DH here. So Peters bats for himself. And a pitch runner out at second for Central's catcher. Another thing, if y'all don't, the audience don't know, that uh, in high school you can run, put a pinch run in, pinch runner in for your catcher or your pitcher. And they go back to. Uh, the original lineup, you know, pitching or yeah, catching. Yeah, at, at no cost. You yeah. don't substitute them. Next pitch was low, one and one. Usually any time, you know, any I, as far as I know past high school, if you run for somebody, they now take their position and, yeah. and their place in the batting order. But what it is for the catcher especially is they've got to put their equipment back on, and it takes a while to put yeah, all that does. equipment on. It's a pace of play. Time you put your shin one. guards on and the chest protector. And yeah, you're doing him a favor. Plus, I mean, he's got the grueling job of he's got to get down and get up and get yeah. down and get up. and, you and know, get, He don't want to be out there standing and running no. and then go do that. That's brutal. And, <laughs> and get foul tips all, that, all day yeah. long. Catchers are molded. They're unique. That's for sure. Two balls and two strike the count. Two gone runners at second and third. Ryland delivers this ball's put into play out the left field again, and it is down. One run scored. It's by, it's him. by him. Second run scored. He'll tag second. He's looking for three. Halfway there now. Throws coming in to short. He stands up. Two RBI triple. Yeah, well, I'd give him a double and an error. He, just, he would have made it to second. Yeah, he would have made it to second. That'd be a double in an air. Up to bat, number 21, Alec Grosman. Porter scores. Bowser scores. Double E7 per Mike Miller. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I looked at that, it was going. You're, it, it looked, no, you're right. You're right. That ball's foul. It looked, it looked like he's going to make the play, and then all of a sudden it just shot right past him, you know. Mm -hmm. It went all the way to the wall. Mm -hmm. 
It's only the second hit this inning. Hey, hey, the second hey. run. Is now Alex Grossman <clears throat> taking Mills' spot. Two balls and a strike. Count to that young man. Runner at third and two gone. As this ball is hit out the left again, and it is down foul ball. <clears throat> it wasn't foul by much. No, it wasn't. That was a long foul, loud foul. I believe if I was the Cougar left fielder, I'd be moving to the line. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's start shading. <laughs> in deep. Yes. All of them barreled. Keep the ball in front of me. Yeah. They're all going to left, too. 2-2. Two, two. Fouled. Do it again. Two gone. We're in the top of the third. Two runs are across. This inning. Nine to nothing central now. Rise the leg kick. Delivers. This one put into play. Up the middle. Gloved and through the glove of Cooper McQuitty. The tenth run plates. Up to bat, number twelve, Andrew Hill. E six. You got it. Ten to nothing, Knox Central. There is the mercy rule, but they have to play five. So, if they want to play past five, Campbell County is going to have to score for every run. And now. Central is going to not have to score. Yeah. Yeah. Well, every run that they <laughs> score now, Campbell County has to score to play another That's inning. True. So. This ball's high in the air. Who wants it? Ross going back. Ford coming in. Ross still going back, and Sun got in his eyes. That one fell right in between them. <clears throat> kind of fell in that no man's land, but I think that would fall under the rule of give way to the outfielder. Yes. He's coming in. Yes. Number 24, That's when the Wesley. outfielder needs to call your second baseman off, or the outfielder needs to call the shortstop or the third baseman off. Center fielder needs to call them off because it's better coming in to try to catch it than it is going back and trying to. They, you stand, know a better, that? they stand a better chance. Yes. So been runners there. in second and third. You've been there outside. and done that. I have. Outfield always trumps everybody. If they call it, get out of the way. I'm just wondering if they called it. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't either. One ball and no strikes. This ball beaten to the ground, foul down third baseline. One and one. That was that was a ball right there, and he one ball and one strike. Two outs, runners on second and third. Rice comes set, delivers. This one's high in the air, playable. Mass comes off back behind the plate and foul. Probably one of the hardest balls to catch is the one right above the catcher's head because he's got to take the mask off. <laughs> almost break your neck, look straight up at the sky, and then find the ball and catch it. One and two. Pretty hard to do. Five. Yes, and with this wind. Yes, unpredictable up here. One ball and two strikes. This one put out in play over Short's head. One runs across and the brakes are thrown. They're not going to keep running. He could have sent that guy. Yes, RBI single. Hill advances to third. Let him go, he's done. Let him go, he's done. Tell him, uh, Up to bat, number Noah Parks. This inning. Um, 18 for one. This has become batting practice. Oh, no. oh. Noah Parks. <clears throat> now in for Myers in the five hole. Rylan comes set and the inning continues. This one's low. 1-0. One oh. Would like to remind you this inning started with a ground out the first and then a 4-3 put out. Two quick outs. 
then walk, double, air, air, double, single. Cougars looking for an out anywhere now. Uh, balls strike. A little high, but we'll take it. Two balls and a strike, two gone. Top of the third still, four runs across now, totaling 11 for Central. This ball's put into play out to third. Gloved, thrown to short route to second. Good play there. And the inning's over. Fielder's choice, 5-4 put away at second base. Will end the inning and saves my scorecard. As now we will head to the bottom of the third inning. Central now breaking it open even more. It is 11 to nothing. We will welcome you back again to Cougar Baseball in just a moment. You are listening to 1450 WLAF. Hi, my name is Daniel Dagley. I'm a personal line sales agent here at Gray's Insurance. Not only have we always took care of you on your home and auto needs, but we now offer group health, individual family plans, Medicare, Medicare supplements, and a wide variety of life insurance. Please come see me for all your insurance needs. Thank you. Hey, this is Trevor St. John with Gray Insurance. I just want to let you know that we'll always be here to serve all your business, home, and auto insurance needs, and even more, even if it's farm, whatever you can think of, we will be able to take care of you. You can always count on us like family, and to you all, you'll always be family to us. If you all ever need anything at all, just let us know, and we'll, we'll always treat you right. For some, they're friends. For others, they're family. And even neighbors to some of you. The hometown staff at First National Bank welcomes you to see them today. See Brian, ask for Carrie, or look for Beth at the drive-thru. A familiar, friendly face is ready to serve you at First National Bank. And when you think loans, think green. And look for us under the big green sign on the four lane in La Follette between Crystal and Subway. First National Bank Oneida, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Your family, your future, your bank. First National Bank. Go Fingers! My name is Caitlin Monday. I'm Janie Harder, and I'm at Where My Heart Leads Thrifty Boutique. We strive to be a thrifty boutique. We try to keep name brand items. We like for everything to be clean. Shirts, pants, kids' clothes, dresses, home decor, purses, jewelry, and it does change constantly. So one week we might have one thing and the next week it's totally different. We are located at 247 East Central Avenue in downtown La Follette. We are right at the corner of Central and Indiana. And hey, welcome back. Bottom of the third. Central 11, Campbell County still zero. Just like I was telling Mike, it's a 7, 8, 9 do up. They haven't even hit today yet. And first pitch to Jake Lawson is outside, ball one. New pitcher for Central. Close the book on Wessel, 27 pitches, four strikes, no hits, no runs. This is Justin Davis, a right-handed submarine pitcher. You call him submarine sidearm? Uh, sidearm? I believe he's sidearm, yeah. Really drops down that three-quarter slot in that happy in-between completely sideways and the ground. Yeah, if he was a submariner, he would be down lower. Mm -hmm. Grazing the dirt. Yeah, he's side arm. Side arm. High chop out in the middle. Gloved at second. Double clutch throws. Error. <clears throat> E4. It's not a hit, but it produces a runner. It produces a run. If and a leadoff a lead runner at that. As now Dylan Ford, the eight-hole hitter, Will have his chance in this part of the lineup just now seeing their first ABs of the day. Swing and a miss. <clears throat> oh, and one. Nobody out after the leadoff error. E4 for Central. As this ball gets behind him. 
board that is, one and one. The count at the play. We are in the bottom of the third. Campbell County trailing by 11. And this one's in the dirt. Two and one. Short late at first. Davis, the side armor comes set. Strike. Swing and a miss from the Cougar eight hole. Two balls and two strikes. The count against Dylan Ford. Just looking to advance the base runner here. Strike three. First out of the bottom of the Up third. Tonight, number seven, Tyrus now the nine McCulley. hole hitter, Tyrus McCulley, will hit with a runner on first. In a game like this, Mike, it's it the scores eleven to nothing. Don't even look at the score. We're looking for little stuff. Advance the runner, you know, not strikeouts. What's going on? Your brother's here. Is that ball's high? One to know. One gone. And the ball's low outside. Two and oh the count to the nine hole hitter McCulley. Jake Lawson, the low man at first on a leadoff air, dribbled one out to central second baseman and he double clutched it and threw it in the dugout. Three O. -oh. Can they not pinch run? <clears throat> they, they could. Three balls, no strikes. One gone. Strike, strike. taken all the way. I think everybody here knew he was not going to swing the bat there. No. Making throw you one. Three balls and a strike now. One out. Inside, ball four. <clears throat> Let's go, Pete. Get hit. Two runners on, both in the unearned fashion, as now Peyton Up Douglas bat, will hit. Number four, Peyton Douglas. Campbell County flipping the lineup card for the very first time. Hopefully that's in a trending upward direction. Seven, eight, nine, able to reach two. Only one gone via the strikeout. Douglas himself, strikeout victim on three pitches, his lone AB. This one's outside. One and oh. One gone, bottom of the third. Campbell County trailing by 11 still. Runners at first and second, though, and fouled at the plate. One ball, one strike. One out. Central has a, probably a plethora of changes, and I've only mentioned a few. They've moved a lot of people around. This ball's high in the air, but playable out to second. One-handed catch will redeem his error. Two gone. Up to bat, number one, Cooper McQuilly. It's now McQuitty will hit. Walked his last time up after a long A-B. Ball outside. Although that was against a different pitcher. That was Wessel, and uh, for a lack of a better term, he was throwing heat. <laughs> throwing very much heat. The runners at first and second. And this is no slack to uh, the side armor that's on it. I mean, it's not like he's throwing nothing us either. He's just not at nearly he's as not hard. In the strike zone, though. Two and oh. He don't have that that Nolan Ryan pop like, like the first kid. Oh, did. I know. <laughs> 2-0. Inside 3-0. Again, runners at first and second after the pop out from Douglas. Two gone in the bottom of the third. Strike on the outside part of the plate. Taking all the way. Frozen like a statue. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Three balls and a strike. Strike. Full count. Full count, two outs, runners at first and second. They'll be on the move here as soon as the pitcher goes to the plate. And he delivers. This one's put into play down first baseline, gloved, and ran took for himself. He played him perfectly. G3 ends the bottom half of the Cougars' third, as now we will head to the fourth, and it is still Knox Central 11, Campbell County 0. We've been in the same spot since the 1990s. This is Skeeter with Duels Tire Shop. We continue serving you with the same friendly service and top-notch name brand tires as my dad, Duel, did when he first opened up. Hey, this is Hunter Huckabee. Come see my dad at Duels Tire Shop. I'm Bailey Ball from La Fallen Mine Supply. Come see my dad, Billy. For septic tanks, PVC pipe, septic chambers, and rebar, and lots more. That's La Follett Mine Supply. Dad, come on in here. We're open Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Saturday from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. Turn on Toastring Road by the Walgreens. We're just the third business on the left just before you cross the tracks. Come see my mom and papa, my mom Jamie, my dad Billy, and me, Bailey. Whoa, 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 come see me, Brody Ball, that's all. Anybody want a big sister? Welcome to beautiful Med Spa, located inside Woodson's Mall. We offer multiple services, including Botox, D-Sport, filler, Hybella, microneedling, anti-aging facials, brow lash services, and so much more. We have multiple providers to give you just what you're looking for. To schedule an appointment, call 423-494-5989. Since 1963, CNC Concrete has been serving Campbell County and surrounding areas with the best there is in concrete. The best in rock, the best in rebar, the best in sand, the best in pretty much anything pertaining to concrete. That's CNC Concrete. Bobby Crass is his family's second generation of owning and operating CNC. As Bobby says, we hold your dreams, the concrete to your dream home. CNC Concrete, open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. until the job gets done. As we welcome you back, top of the fourth, and again, Knox Central 11, Campbell County 0. And we have a new pitcher, and according to my notes, it is number three, Colton Long. As that will close the day for Ryland Rice. 92 pitches, 11 runs, 8 hits, 1 balk, only 3 walks, and 1 hit batsman. Up to bat number eight, Jack Goode. Four errors made. Behind him, one of those counted as a balk. So, rough day on the mound for Ryland. Correction number eight, Jackson Lynch. Who's he in for? As now Lynch will hit. First pitch is a ball from Long. Jackson Lynch outside. As this ball's high and out of play, two and one again, as I mentioned, probably it's good good word to use. A plethora of changes. You know, when you're in a game, you're winning by 11 runs. You want to start moving some people around, which is all fine. I'll just I change them as I go, and it's easiest to do whenever that team is at the plate than to try to read names and numbers as they're out there scattered across the diamond. So two balls and a strike to Lynch, and I do my best to try to keep up low. Three and one. From Long, our first look at him, the young Cougar on the mound, right-handed, right no wind-up. 
straight from the stretch. And hits him right across the back. As now up to bat number 16, Noah Lyons. Noah Lyons will hit in the seven hole. So hit batsman starts us off in the fourth. Central's half of the fourth. They lead 11 to nothing. Campbell County five pitches in, hits a batter, and now called strike high to the seven hole hitter. Wind's picking up. It's getting colder. Yeah. Because that ball's low. As the sun goes down, it is going to be cold. Yes. It's already cold. <laughs> Colder. Colder. <laughs> <laughs> the 1-1. One, one. High. Boom. Down to left field. Foul. One and two. You lean up to see that ball hit down left from our point of view. And you see uh, the flag blowing out there by the scoreboard, and it's completely sideways, blowing left or right. That one's high, two and two, which is giving it benefit of the doubt to say left and right. The wind blows every which way up here. It don't ever stay constant. So two balls and two strikes. Nobody out and a runner on. As this ball is put into play, double play ball. Out to third, to second, no throw. We'll get one. Got the force. When in doubt, get an out. Fielder's choice. 5-4 on that one. Up to bat, number 15, Owen Porter. As now the eight-hole hitter Porter stays the same. He's got a walk and a single to his name today, along with two RBIs. Swing and a miss. Has made good contact on the ball, as every Bobcat has today at the plate. Every single one of them hitting in the big part of the, of the bat. So a runner on first. I don't know, one pitch. This one put out left center field in the gap. Runner will tag second. He's heading for third. He'll get the green light to go on around. RBI double for Owen Porter. Up so bat walk, number single, 11, double Dylan for his Bowser. day. Now it's Bowser's turn. Raise his bat and average. Oh, yeah. Two for two with a walk, a double, and a single, and three <laughs> RBIs. <laughs> yeah. Fantasy pick of the day, maybe. <laughs> High in the air, playable, out the left field, first pitch, going back, going back, and he caught it. Yeah. Caught it right over the top of his head. F7. Second out of the inning. Up to bat, now number Peters, I think. Chris Peters. Yes. Peters will hit. This is the kid that doubled and then reached third on an error. So again, another good contact. First pitch is a called strike. Not really a single person in the lineup other than the seven hole, which is now changed by people in a substitution has a hit for Central. Hey, your book looks... It's actually better than it looks I did <laughs> in the past. Normally, I'm marking stuff out up here and I'm changing my innings, and you know, then it yeah. then it gets all messed up. But I have kept it in order very well. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> Games like this always get messy. Outside, two balls and a strike. Runners advance. In Porter, he's on third. Two balls and a strike to Peters at the plate. Okay, two more. Lions scoring from first this inning. 
Brings our score 12 to 1, Knox Central. Those that ball's low, 3 and 1. One hit so far in the inning. High ball four. First walk issued by Long. So that'll put him in the corners in the fourth. Up to bat, number 21, Alec Grossman. Grossman, the hitter. Reached on an error. Hit the short E6, his only trip. First pitch is high. 1-0. And, oh. and again, runners at the corners. We're in the top of the fourth. Central's half. They have 12 runs tallied up today. 11 of them coming from the starter, Rice. Won this inning. Long. This one's put into play and playable. Gloved at third. Thrown across the diamond. Good play. Got him. 5-3. Put out. Ends the top of the fourth threat as one run comes across on one hit. No errors. Good outing for Long to come in and stop the bleeding. But now it'll be Campbell County's turn as we head to the bottom of the fourth. It is Knox Central 12, Campbell County 0. Right here is where it all started, right here on this corner. This was the first building for People's Bank of the South. This is where the ideas, tradition, way of doing business, and the mission of taking care of its customers evolved. Then it was on to the new bank with Camel County's first, a drive-up window. From 1917 to today, People's Bank of the South is here for you. People's Bank of the South is in the heart of La Follette, between La Follette and Jacksboro, near the mall and at North Clinton exit 122. We invite you to come see us at People's Bank of the South. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When you're dealing with a tire this big, to go with something this big, there's only one number to call. Hensley Tire Center, 423-663-2142. When it comes to OTR, Hensley Tire Center is ready to assist you and get you back on the road, back on the job, and get rid of your headache of a problem. Hensley Tire Center has located... Hi, this is Kimberly Burge here at Burge Screen Printing. We work to bring your idea to reality. We specialize in custom screen printing, direct to garment, full color printing for all your apparel needs. We also do full color printing on signs, banners, and much more. Hey, this is Larry Burge. Stop by and see us today in downtown La Folla at 225 East Central Avenue or call 423-562-3044. 562-3044. Go Cougars! There are two types of hot water heaters, thankless and tankless. The thankless kind work like this. I'm throwing in a load of laundry. Hold off on that. I'm hopping in the shower. Renai tankless water heaters work this way. I'm throwing in a load of laundry. No problem. You get an endless supply of hot water even for multiple tasks at the same time. With a natural gas water heater from PCUD, you get hot water twice as fast as same size electric and for about half the cost. Chop down your hot water energy cost hundreds of dollars a year with PCUD in La Follette or Rocky Top. Renai Tankless Water Heaters, the hot way to heat water. Bottom of the fourth. Campbell County has three, four, five due up. Idles, Rice, and Lawson. And the first pitch to Caden called strike from Grimes. Closed the book on the side armor Davis. 22 pitches, one walk, one strikeout, no hits, no errors, no runs. Curve ball. Taken for a strike, 0 and 2. Idol struck out his last time up on three pitches, and this one's low. 2 and 1. Or 1 and 2, rather. Campbell County trails by 12. Ooh. Big swing and a miss. Big hook. Yeah, it was. One gone. Up to bat, number three, Colton Long. That thing had some break on it. Yes, it did. That, that was, was a nice. beautiful that was nasty. curveball. <laughs> and that ball's low to Long. Colton Long. Number three, Campbell County's pitching relief.
Foul ball at the plate, one and one. And again, one gone. One and one. Rylan had a rough day on the mound. And really, he had two ABs and one of them didn't count because uh, Cooper got thrown out at second. Yeah. And so he got a second AB and he probably made the longest out I've seen in a while. He hit one to yeah. the wall in left field. And that kid out there made a great play. Two and one pitch in for a strike. Run the count two and two. This guy's a small guy, but he's got some heat to him. Uh, he's central's a, pitcher. He yeah. He's got a breaking ball, too. Yeah, he does. Strike three. Didn't got need a breaking him. ball in, just a good old homemade fastball. Yeah. Up to bat, number 12, Eli Lawson. Campbell County's catcher, Eli Lawson, will hit over one with a strikeout. Campbell County's strikeout totals now seven. They had nine up here our last broadcast, I think. I'd have to go back and look. In a game Ooh. that was much closer than this. Curveball missed. 1-0. Cougars dropped that game, I thought, 4-3. 4-3. Yep. And find themselves 12 to nothing here. Yeah. That was in the dirt, 2-0. Come on. Two gone. Bottom half of the fourth inning. Curveball missed 3 0. And he had Lawson leaning. He was all the way out on his front foot. There's a fastball in for a strike. Probably going to see two more. Yeah. I'd say, if it's, you don't make I'd contact. say it's just going to be fastballs here. If you don't walk. Yep. yep. Full count. Three balls, two strikes, two gone. Pitcher long look in. Now he comes set. Digging at the glove. Fastball got him. So the hat trick for Campbell County. Three strikeouts in the fourth hopes as now we will head to the fifth. Central's half as they have 12. Campbell County has zero. And to remind you, you are listening to 1450 WLAF. Sick today, seen today here at Cumberland Gap Medical. Hello, this is APRN Amanda Brown. At Cumberland Gap Medical, we can take care of you and your family. From the toddlers to the seniors, we have one of the area's most affordable cash pay programs. Walk in now to be seen or call for an appointment. 423-201-9799. Cumberland Gap Medical is beside Stop Lot 10 on East Central at Cumberland Avenue. Quality and Clayton go hand in hand. That's quality constructed homes from Clayton Homes. The staff at Clayton Homes, located right here at home in Campbell County at Jacksboro, is ready to help you through all the steps of home ownership, from selecting the home that's just right for you to putting the keys in your hand. Since 1956, Clayton Homes has been making dreams come true. See the home folks about your new dream home from Clayton Homes, 110 North Street near Jacksboro Middle School. Call or just come on by. Hammers, you know the name, but do you know about our bigger, better, easier to find location? We're just off I-75, exit 122, that's the Clinton Norris exit. With Hammers' wide selection of boots, shoes, jeans galore, and a whole lot more, you're sure to find what you need. Check out our women's boutique, you'll love it ladies. With six East Tennessee locations, you're sure to score a good deal. That's Hammers, I-75, exit 122, just past the Speedway. As we welcome you back, top of the fifth. Knox Central 12, Campbell County 0. This will be the last inning as it doesn't lead up really for Central. This is BP for them. Campbell County, however, in the bottom half will have to score, as of right now, two runs to tie three to play another inning. So right now, Campbell County's magic number is three runs in their half. 
but we got to get three outs first. <laughs> That's what it's fixed to say. We got to yeah. make sure they don't <laughs> score any more. Twenty Noah Pointer. <laughs> well, that wind is really. Yes, folks. I guess you could probably hear it over the radio. Boy, it we is. feel it. <laughs> <laughs> we I put feel my it. jacket on. You can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, Noah Pointer. A lot of Noahs on this team. First pitch is a ball. Wonder how many times they've been told that. <laughs> There's three. Three Noahs. Ooh. HBP. Third one today. In the back again, which he turned, you know. Hey, if you're going to hit him, hit him in the numbers. <laughs> the or the butt. <laughs> Number seven, <laughs> David Grimes. As now it's Grimes' turn. And when it's cold like this, it sure it does not feel good, good at no, all. It don't feel good. It don't feel good, period, but when it's cold, it's even worse. As this is Grimes, their new pitcher. First pitch ball from Long. Worked his first inning for us last half inning. We faced six batters. Only gave up one walk, one hit batsman, and a hit. We're going to miss. Two and one to count now to Grimes. So two balls and a strike. One runner on via the hit batsman. And nobody out in Central's half of the fifth. Inside strike. Ooh, that's pretty. Good pitch. Two balls and two strikes to count. Delivers this ball's foul down the third baseline. And pitch foul. Nobody gone, and another 2-2 two -two under the way from Colton Long. He comes set. Leg kick and delivers. This Ooh. one's high in the air, out to somewhere other than left. It's to right center field, and after they were shaved him to left, that ball's down. So and everybody runner. moves up two bases, stand up double. Well, you hate to see that. Every ball hit hard bat, has been to left. 18, no so parts. our left fielder has been playing, shading towards the line. The center fielder is playing, shading towards left center, and that ball hit right into right center. <laughs> the only one hit the only one, <laughs> to the right side for it well, that's, you all know. day. <laughs> I mean, what do you do? Well, you're not parts. thinking it's going to go that way, so no. you shade them. You yeah, know I, mean? I mean, it, it forgets it, whatever. <laughs> you just got around late on it. <laughs> That's all that you say. The 1-0. Oh. Hi. 2-1. and one. Look down the right field line. You put one down the right field line, you'd be running for, to here tomorrow because you, you're shading a little you bit. Could, you could tandem two buses. <laughs> yeah. Swing and a miss. Strike two and one from the foul line to Dylan Ford. It's about two school bus length. About what, 20, 25 yards? Yeah. <clears throat> Three and one, a little high. Runners at second and third after the gapper. Central's new pitcher. In the dirt. That's a walk. Load him up. 
load them up. For Lynch. Up to bat, number eight, Jackson Lynch. Delivers in the dirt. Well, no, we just need some strikes here. Strikes from Colton Long, that is our first look at him today. Face six hitters his last inning. He's up to his fourth now, still looking for his out. Yeah, that one's low. No place to put him. No, bases are loaded. Bobcats on first, second, and third. Twelve of them have come across the plate today. Zero for the Cougars. Big swing and a miss. Check swing, got him. Two and one. He thought about it and then held back. Too late, though. He went Way out. Way too late. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he committed. Pitcher comes set in 2-1. High. 3-1. Bend the back. Bend the back. Use the mound. Three balls and a strike. Nobody out. Top of the fifth. Sun's starting to set, but the majority of the field still in the sunshine except for third Territory foul ground as that's going to walk in a run. Second walk issued this inning. Third, if you count the hit batsman. Everybody moves up 90 feet. Pointer comes across to score. 13 to nothing. And the mound visit from Coach Hart to Long as he's unable to find it out here in the fifth. Came in in relief last inning. Up to bat, number 16, Noah Lines. Like we said, with a score like today, you know, you're not looking to win. You're just looking to do the little things right. Yeah. And right now those are to bear down, throw strikes, and get out. Ball. First pitch is low to Lions. This is the seven hole hitter for Central. Long comes set outside. Makes you wonder if it's just, you know, trying to buy a strike. That's what it just, is. Just aiming. Just let her fly. 2-0. There, there you go. Generous call. He called it a strike. Yes, he did. Mercy. Mercy pitch. Right, right at the eyes. 2-1. This one's put into play up the middle. Base hit, and it's through. Hit right where there was nobody at. Move everybody up 90 feet. And give an RBI to Lions. Second hit of the inning. Second run of the inning. As Austin Duncan checks in. Number six. He will now bat for Porter spot in the eighth. First pitch called strike. Still looking for an out. Bases are still loaded. Bobcats on first, second, and third. Long comes set. Delivers strike two. I mentioned last inning, he has no windup. Pitches all from the stretch. A lot of your pitchers does, the high school pitchers. Mm -hmm. No wind up. 0 2 high. Unless you're the last hitter, and that's a strike. Nobody out. We're just looking for one, and the two hits were hit right where nobody was. Right center, gap, and straight up the middle. 
This one playable. Out the short. Cooper was shading him up the middle. He'll glove it and don't even have a throw. Infield hit. Also scores a run. Move everybody up 90 feet. Third hit of the inning. Third run of the inning. Up to bat number 11, Dylan Bowser. And this isn't that bad if it wasn't a hit batsman to start it off and then two more walks after the double. So mm -hmm. first run to score this inning unearned. Second one earned. Next one's unearned. So Ooh. this ball's put into play out to left center, now shading to left. Tyrus McCulley gloves it. Everybody tagging, and one run does come across. So the nine-hole hitter. Bowser, and I don't think they ever tagged, did they? And they called him out. Yep. yep. Okay, I thought so. So F7 for Bowser. That would be Lions, the seven-hole hitter that singled, did not tag. They'll throw behind him to second for out number three. Right? Yeah, it's undoubtedly. I'm not sure what happened. I don't know. It was a two different, they throw to two different bases because he didn't tag. Yeah, because that would have only been two, so. He caught the ball. Yeah, it. that's weird. Yeah. I've never seen that. So, six-hole hitter out at third, seven-hole hitter out at second. First out of the inning was an F7. So, charge at F7. So, at seven, five, four. Triple play. Yes. <laughs> well, it wouldn't have. Yeah, I, well, no, it's all not in a one triple play. play. Yeah. I, I, like I said, yeah. I've never seen that. You'll have to rule book me on that one. <laughs> I'm not going to even look it up. We'll take a short break. It may not even be in it. <laughs> back to the bottom of the fifth inning. Cougars last chance. They'll trail by 15 when we return to Cougar Baseball on 1450 WLAF. My name is Caitlin Monday. I'm Janie Harder, and I'm at Where My Heart Leads Thrifty Boutique. We strive to be a thrifty boutique. We try to keep name brand items. We like for everything to be clean. Shirts, pants, kids' clothes, dresses, home decor, purses, jewelry, and it does change constantly. So one week we might have one thing and the next week it's totally different. We are located at 247 East Central Avenue in downtown La Follette. We are right at the corner of Central and Indiana. Quality and Clayton go hand in hand. That's quality constructed homes from Clayton Homes. The staff at Clayton Homes, located right here at home in Campbell County at Jacksboro, is ready to help you through all the steps of home ownership, from selecting the home that's just right for you to putting the keys in your hand. Since 1956, Clayton Homes has been making dreams come true. See the home folks about your new dream home from Clayton Homes, 110 North Street near Jacksboro Middle School. Call or just come on by. And after much discussion and debate, me and Mike have agreed no triple play. <laughs> Fly out to left and then no tag and no tag as now we will lead off the bottom half of the fifth and we have a first hit. pitch hit from Up Zach back, Ross. Number 24, Good Jake piece. Lawson. Let's go, Jay. So the Cougars will have Ross, Lawson, and Ford. Ross has already reached on a single. Campbell County's one lone hit of the day, according to my scorebook. Scoreboard up there has Campbell County already at a hit, and that was an error, so not counting that. Bat on ball from Lawson, foul down the third baseline. 0 1. Is this a different picture? Nobody out. Hi. Good night, Jake. <clears throat> one ball and one strike. Runner on first and Ross. Pitcher comes set. Curveball missed barely. Looked good from our point of view. Yeah, he he didn't miss but much. <clears throat> Long look. Comes set. 2-1. This one high in the air. Playable. Out the short. Two-handed grab. First out of the inning. 
of the bat, number 15, Dylan Ford. As now Dylan Ford will hit, strike out his only time to the plate. We've had two pitchers since then. Runner still on first. After the leadoff single from Ross. <laughs> and the first pitch to Dylan is low. <laughs> Grimes, the central hitter now, or pitcher now rather, slowest of the three strike on the inside part of the plate. I say slow just in the time between pitches. Really takes his time. Not flipping through a bunch of signs, just his rhythm. 1-1. One, one. Inside. Two balls and a strike. Now Ross still out there at first, battling the sun. Setting halfway across the field now. Hitters are in the shade. Pitcher still in the sun. As this ball's off the handle, foul down the first baseline. Two and two. One gone after a pop out to short. Cougars are down to two outs. The 2-2 two -two low. How many pitchers they use? So three. Three. Neither of them have thrown over 30 pitches. None of them have. <laughs> Steal a second. Walk. Oh, it was a walk. Okay. Yeah, he was stealing. Oh, he was stealing. So yeah, Ross was stealing, but it won't count as a stolen base because he walked. So now runners at first and second for Tyrus McCulley. <clears throat> What's up, P? Curveball missed outside. Tyrus walked his only trip up to the plate. In the third, as he's backing out there before it even hits the mitt. You gonna get a hit, P? Gave up on it because it was low. So that'll bring the count one and one. Long, Long swing at that curveball. Weak swing. Mm -hmm. If he'd have made contact, he would have got it out of the infield. We're just missing the One, two. <laughs> Runners at first and second. Sped him up there. Put it into play. Double play ball. Out to short. Two one. second for one. Throws across and throw took him up the line. So they'll only get the one. Ro the bat, Ross advances four, to third. Dylan Douglas. Ford out at second on the fielder's choice. Tyrus McCulley running down the line, throw took him up the line. As now Peyton Douglas, the only Cougar to have three ABs so far, now in his third one. First pitch is low. Down to the last out. Runner at third. Want to know the count? Campbell County has a chance to score here, but they're going to need five more runs after this one to keep playing. There's a strike. One and one. The score is Central 15, Campbell County zero. Five just ties it, and it's got to be less than 10 for them to start the six. So they need six runs with only one out to do it. This one's beat into the ground. Back to the pitcher. He gloves it, goes under his glove. Hurley throws the first. One three put away. Retires the side and closes the book on this one. After a long five innings and a clinic put on at the plate from Central, game time started right at 5.30, 530. right? So almost two-hour mark, hour, hour 45. Hour and 45 minutes. Pretty quick five innings and a clinic for Central as we'll go ahead and wrap it up for you here. I thought that – Central hit the ball well, and they, they lived up to exactly what we just said. Central's got a good baseball team. Very good. And Campbell County doesn't need to hang their head too much. I mean, it was a really rough start for Rylan Rice on the mound today. He threw almost 100 pitches just through three innings and allowed a lot of traffic. But there was a lot of balls that were barreled up and a lot of balls hit out to the outfield that scored a lot of runs. And so you tally all that and then no run production from Campbell County on their half of the end, and you'll get the final that we have today. Our next broadcast will Friday. be Friday. 
Weather and permitting. Yes, it is against Oakdale. 5.30 first pitch here. And it is weather permitting rain. The rain predicted. is in the forecast. Yeah. That's what I was going to try to pull up. I haven't even looked that far. I see it. 35% now? I really don't know. I noticed it was this morning when I was getting ready to go to work. It was... Uh, they had predicted some kind of rain, but I didn't remember how much percentage. Well, I'll tell you, it goes up Saturday to 55%, so it's got to be in the nighttime. So, <laughs> yeah. But even better than this, partner, high of 62 Friday, so mm. that's a lot better than the, yeah. the wind chill that we, <laughs> that we got today. There's <laughs> always going to be a wind chill. Up yeah, there. we changed locations, and it also changed uh, temperature about 15 to 20 degrees from uh, just last Thursday when we were up here and a much different score, but the same team and the same team will be in action again this Friday against Oakdale at Brown Archer Field. Come on up, get you a hot dog, and enjoy the weather with us. If they have a game, uh, rain is in the forecast, so we'll have to just wait and see what that holds for us. But today, they will close the book on this game. It is Knox Central 15, Campbell County 0. And for all of our WLF sponsors, uh, what would you say his name was? It's not Clayton today. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> so Charles Carroll behind the camera. Matthew Moore running our produce. And for Mike Miller and Jake Mundy, we thank you for listening. Good night and God bless. WLAF's presentation of Cougar Baseball is on the air.